let's first understand the problem. An acute angle triangle is given, which is A, B, C. And the, from the point C, we drop a perpendicular on AB. Let's call this perpendicular CD. CD is perpendicular to AB. The length of CD is given to be 6 centimeters and the length of AB is given as 8 centimeters. These three things are the given data. Now our goal is the following. Find, suppose the midpoint of AD is P and the midpoint of DC is Q. Midpoint of BC is Q. Our goal is to find out the length of PQ. You can pause the video here and give this a try. The final answer is 5. This is the answer. So you can try the problem and tally your answer with this given answer. Okay. Now let's focus on the concepts that are required to solve this problem. The first thing we need to learn is the midpoint theorem. We discussed this in the geometry module of Chinta Mathematics Olympiad program and the ISI CMI entrance program. The midpoint theorem says that if you have a triangle ABC and if T and E are the midpoints of AB and AC, we have two conclusions, DE is parallel to BC and DE is half of BC. This is the statement of the midpoint theorem. The other result that you will need is the Pythagoras theorem. You may know about the Pythagoras theorem already. Its statement is this, that you have side length A, side length B and side length C of a right angle triangle. Then the square on the legs is equal to the square on the hypotenuse. Okay, now let's get back to this diagram. We will be trying a solution of it. So first I'll give you a hint. So the hint is this construction. Mark the midpoint M of AC. M is the midpoint of AC. Midpoint of AC. Join PM and MQ. Join PM and MQ. That's it. That is the hint. This construction is the hint. Can you use this hint and the midpoint theorem to finish up the proof that PQ is 5 centimeters long? You have to observe that in the triangle ADC, in the triangle ADC, P is the midpoint of AD, M is the midpoint of AC. So you can apply the midpoint theorem and say that PM is parallel to DC. PM is parallel to DC. 
and PM is half of DC. And DC is given to be 6, so PM is 3. Similarly, in this big triangle, in this big triangle, MQ is half of AB and parallel to AB. Why? Because M is the midpoint of AC and Q is the midpoint of BC. So you can again apply the midpoint theorem and say that MQ is half of AB and parallel to AB. So that's 4 because AB is 8. We know that PM is parallel to DC. We know that MQ is parallel to AB. From that, we can conclude that this angle is 90 degree. This is a little homework that I'll give you. Tell me in the comment in the description why you think that we can conclude that PM is perpendicular to MQ. From the information that PM is parallel to DC and MQ is parallel to AB. It's a very simple but beautiful idea that you can show PM is perpendicular to MQ directly from there. So we are almost done. This is a uh, this is a right angle triangle now, and we have this leg as three, this leg as four. So use Pythagoras theorem to say PQ is five. Check the link in the description for more resources related to Mathematics Olympiad and more learning resources. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.